Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support. I'm in Photoshop. This video is going to demonstrate how to use Photoshop templates here at Condi, meaning when you go to our webpage and you download your template based on your product number, you can pull it into Photoshop as a PSD or a PDF within the uh, file, the zip file that you will download from PartnerNet. It will contain four files typically. One is going to be an Illustrator, one's going to be in Photoshop, one's going to be a PSD, and the other is going to be a Corel Draw. So make sure you find the template that uh, pertains to Photoshop, which is going to be a PSD or a PDF. Once you have it saved on your desktop or wherever your designated area is, you can extract it and then find your PSD or your PDF, which is what we'll be using to demonstrate how to use Condi templates in Photoshop versions. This is CS6. The way I demonstrate it, you would use it the same in all versions of Photoshop. Very simple. A uh, couple of clicks. Once your image is ready, place in your image behind the template. This is a very simple technique for using uh, Condi Photoshop templates. So I have Photoshop open. What I want to do is go and get my uh, template. So again, Make sure your image is ready to place on the template prior to using the template. The template is not a magical tool. It does not resize your image, but it does uh, show you what the sublimated, sublimatable areas are, and it will uh, help you in sizing your image for your substrate. So it's a keyhole so that you can see what your image is going to look like and how to size it once it's placed on the layer behind the actual uh, top layer template. Okay, so two layers, Photoshop works in layers, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use these templates using the two layers that, uh, that uh, I saved the files um, with in Photoshop. So you're going to go to File, you're going to go to Open, uh, you're going to grab uh, your template. We're going to use a Mousepad 89. This is a PSD and it will work in Photoshop as well as a PDF. So it doesn't matter what the version is, Photoshop are compatible with every version. So we're going to click that, we're going to open it. And as you can see here, we have the shape of a mouse pad. This is the exact size of which um, it's going to print out. So everything should be ready to go. As you can see, we have two layers over to the right. If you uh, have worked in Photoshop then you know that Photoshop works in layers and that you must be selected on the layer in which you're going to be working with for it to um, for it to actually work with that or to go wherever you want it to meaning if I click place image or graphic here when I go to get my image that's the layer it's going to go on so the top layer on top is anything that's on or should I say in front of this layer which is on bottom so this would be your top layer this would be the layer under that and so on and so forth okay so clicking on place image or graphic here that's what that that's why it's worded that way so you're gonna click that you're gonna go to file you're gonna click left click on place you're gonna go to where you've saved your uh, ready image meaning ready to go ready to place into the template and we're going to scroll down. Mine's on my flash drive. And it's right here. And we're going to use the calibration image. Select it. This is a JPEG. I'm going to place it. And so what that does is pull the image in so that I can manipulate it. As you can see, the bounding boxes around the image, uh, meaning that it's it's still at a state where we can make uh, movements to it just to size it up to go behind this layer. As you can see the corners here meaning that the template layer is on top and anything constrained behind it is what's going to print. So make sure you size your Im image accordingly. So again we're, we're stretching this out just as a demonstration of how to place your image and size it. Um, behind your layer. If you wanted to size something with equal proportions, uh, what you would do is go 
to actually just basically right click here. Yeah. Right click and we would um, delete this layer, just say yes. And we still have our MP89. So what we could do is go to File, Place, Calibration Image, Place. Once we have this sized up, it's on top. I just press enter, drop this down there so that it's now behind this layer. So you can click and slide the image down below it. Constraining the proportions is as easy as holding your control key and sliding the corners. That's another way to constrain the proportions. So again, your image must be ready to go on the background layer in Photoshop prior to using the template. So once you have your image placed in here and you've sized it the way you want it, you can see exactly how it's going to print out. Just click the enter button to get rid of the bounding box and then uh, you're ready to go. So that's how you use your image place in Photoshop using the Condi Photoshop templates that are located on our Condi webpage, condi.com support. And you can download the templates from our support page under templates. Make sure you have a username and password, which is available to you if you're a Condi client through your account manager. My name is Vicki, and as always, thank you for your time.